Hey, what's going on, guys? It's uh, Brian Zalewski from Megabyte Labs, my open source umbrella company that I use to brand all this stuff. But basically, today I'm talking to you because I want to tell you about a new cool GitHub project I found called Twilio Labs slash Call GPT. Basically, we already know. Um, if you're watching this, you probably already know that ChatGPT is taking the world by storm, but I'm here to tell you about taking it up to the next level. The next level is bringing voice into the equation, talk um, text to speech and speech to text, combining that with Twilio, and Twilio allows you to easily buy a phone number for like $2 a month. The Twilio service costs is negligible for, mo for, for most small um, you know, business use cases. Um, basically, I just want to talk to you about how easy it was to set up this here. So right now I already set up this project. We're going to call my portfolio websites phone number, which is hosted in Twilio. And I configured it to respond as if it's working for me, knowing like a few things about my company. And, and now you can, and, and now I'm going to call it and we're going to hear chat GPT talking over a phone number. So I'm, I'm calling it right now. Let's see. So here, I hope, hopefully you guys can Hello, hear it. I understand you're looking for, I see it sounds like you might be looking to schedule a meeting. Can I have your name please? And if you'd like. I can pass your message along to Brian or try to connect you with him right now. Hi, yeah. Are you powered by artificial intelligence? Hey, are you powered by artificial intelligence? Damn it. Absolutely, I'm powered by artificial intelligence designed to assist with tasks like scheduling and answering inquiries for Brian. How may I assist you today? Would you like to leave a message? Okay, so as you can see, it's not perfect, but it basically works. It just had that one hiccup. It had a little stutter. When I was using it before, it, it, was, it was pretty good. Um, the key to making it fast is when you follow the call GPT readme, Basically, this place at the end where it says fly launch and fly deploy and then import your secrets. The, the only changes you have to make to this project to make it work is to populate the .env, which will have like your open AI key, your deep gram API key, which is for talk to, I mean, text to speech and speech to text. And then there's a few other things. Um, there's a few other things you have to set up. Like there, it's it's all in the README, but I just wanted to show you how how few steps there are. So basically, here, here are all the numbers I have. One of the things you have to do is you have to go in here, and we'll this will be your fly URL. So when you make the fly website from going to this part at the end of the README. This will have you sign in, and then when you deploy, um, it'll create the name for you, and then you can import all the secrets, and then it'll work. The only change you have to make to it is um, changing the prompt. There's, I mean, there's a few other changes you might want to make, but you can see right here on line 18 in the GPT service file in the services folder, all you have to do is declare this prompt. The only changes I made to customize it were, were to add this. Of course, there's other things we could do to improve it. Um, you, the the project has ways of incorporating, you know, JavaScript logic for you know sending things like emails or whatever you need to do. It, it could technically be con um, um, uh, modified to you know meet your com to meet your business requirements. So. After you run fly, you'll, you'll basically just have to add the secrets into the dashboard here. And then after you run the deploy again, it'll be deployed. And then with this URL, this URL 
under the phone number settings, this tells the phone number to just call this URL and it hooks you up to, um, the, mine is manhattan.fly, I'll, I'll probably change if, if I ever start getting hacked, but uh, hopefully no one attacks this endpoint. But anyway, so yeah, so that this, this is what it's supposed to look like when you launch it and then you gotta add your URL in here and then the last thing you have to do is populate all those API keys. So that's all I got. It's a really cool project. I'll, I'll post a link in the description. It's a, it's a, I, I tried it out and now I have my own chat GPT powered, um, you know, voice model that, that can talk to my customers over the phone for me. All right. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.